Our today's topic is life insurance. Basically, life insurance is the insurance where the principle of indemnity is not working. Basically, life insurance pays its claims either after death of the insured or after a certain time period. There are uh, five categories of life insurance. First, based on the duration. Second, based on the premium payment. Third, based on the benefit of claim payment. Fourth, based on the profit distribution. And five, based on the life's in. Um, lives covered under the life insurance so we will start by the five number category here it comes to the number of lives covered in terms of life insurance um, these are two two types basically one is single and the second category is multiple so single is quite easy to understand if the insured number is one that time it is known as single and if it is the um, insured number is more than one that time it will be known as multiple and multiple is also categorized under two category first one is the joint and the last one is the last survivor so joint means whenever there are multiple insured first first insured date and the claim starts on that time it is known as joint but if it is to term as a after the death of the last insured that time claim will be start it is known as last survivorship uh, next comes to the top that uh, based on profit distribution there are two types with profit sharing and without profit sharing as we know that the collective premium is invested for the profitable investment by the insurer if insurance company is having a contract with the insured that they will share the um, uh, profit which is uh, which they have um, regained from the uh, profitable investment of the collective premium if they share that time it will be known as which profit sharing and here they can share maximum 95 percent but as usual there will be no uh, profit sharing terms that time it will be known as uh, without profit sharing basically that time is uh, mentioned only the claim amount uh, next comes uh, based on uh, payment of claim if insurer is uh, agreed upon a single claim payment single uh, claim payment in terms of one single payment that time it is single and if insurer uh, agrees upon a term that he will pay back the uh, insurance claim by level by level on installment that time it is known as level um then based on the premium payment it is basically two types uh first one is nsp nsp is if the insured required to pay the premium uh, just by one single payment that time it will be known as net single premium that means nsp but if insured has the option he can make the uh, premium by annual installment that time it will be known as nap net annual premium and based on the duration there are three categories of life insurance first one is whole, whole life whole life basically whenever the insured uh, is just expired and the claim payment will be paid back to the nominee that time it is known as whole life insurance and if uh, there is a single payment uh, for the premium calculation that time it will be known as uh, single payment and limited payment if the insured is bound to pay the premium in terms of um, installment uh, during the period that time it will be known as limited payment and if the whole life insurance has a convertibility option to to switch back to uh, term life or endowment that time it will be known as convertible whole life insurance second comes the types that term life insurance it's basically uh, quite uh, different from the definition of uh, life insurance uh, because it is the basic wrong okay so what is the um satiris paribus here satisfied of that um, in terms of term life insurance insured and insurer will agree upon a certain time period and certain time period is liable for insured okay insured insured have to die within this time period if insured is not dead within this time period and after the certain time period uh, insured is alive that time insurance company will not pay any claim amount insurance uh, company will only pay the claim amount if within the time frame the insured is alive so it can be in straight term if uh, the insured is paid by a uh, certain time period it is straight term but if the term life insurance have the renewable option that time it will be re renewable term life and if it is has the convertibility option like they can switch to whole life insurance or endowment that will be known as 
কনভার্টেবল হলো টার্ম লাইফ ইন্স্যুরেন্স এন্ড এন্ডোমেন এন্ডোমেন বেসিক্যালি পিওর এন্ডোমেন मींस আফটার সার্টেন টাইম পিরিয়ড ইন্স্যুরেন্স কোম্পানি উইল পে ব্যাক দা ক্লেম পিরিয়ড ক্লেম পেমেন্ট ওকে সো ইন দিস কেস ইফ দা ইন্স্যুরার ইফ দা ইনস্যুর ইজ অ্যালাইভ দা ক্লেম পেমেন্ট উইল বি মেড টু দা ইনস্যুর beneficiary will be insured if the insured is not alive he is expired or dead after the certain time period that time it will be pay back to nominee so this is uh, basically the endowment thank you next we will go to the formulas in term in the slide we are seeing that we are we are going to calculate nsp nsp either nsp or nap for term life insurance or endowment life insurance basically from our formula we can see that whenever we are calculating the nsp the lower part is the same number of insured at the beginning of the year basically this uh, number this figure is given in the in, in portion basically and for the calculation purpose we have to go for uh, death claim for term life insurance for endowment it will be not as death claim but also living claim because in terms of endowment we already have got know that uh, either um, uh, insured is uh, alive or death the claim and claim payment must be done but in terms of life, term life insurance only the insured have to be die to get the uh, get the claim payment uh, if we can check the formula for nap nap the lower part is almost same for the both option but whenever it's the upper part it's again the same they claim for uh, term in life insurance and endowment for total life insurance let's look that <clears throat> one man uh, first initially we will start with the endowment uh, math among um, here the policy value is 5000 taka and math is for five years uh, he, this uh, the total uh, um, portion of the uh, for this chapter calculation now we have to calculate uh, nsp and nap for nsp uh, for nsp purpose now we have to um, calculate a table uh, with seven column okay so for seven column um, uh, first six column are basically from portion portion mm -hmm. is containing mm -hmm. these four uh, four and five column and um four five six six column is basically it just comes from the portion but uh, you know, as there is seven column number seven column is calculated by calculating number three column into number four and number five four five three is uh, basically uh, multiplied to get the seven number column result so here we can see by the animation we can get the values of um, uh, seven number column and as we need total pv of death claim that's why we are calculating the summation and we get the total pv of death claim as uh, we are uh, doing the math for endowment we also need the total pv of living claim that's why we are calculating for total pv of living claim and whenever the, uh, we are talking about the living claim we will calculate based on the last year okay for this math there are five years so we we take the information from last year and last year we will calculate the number of insured living at the end of the period okay so uh, from the portion we can see that at the end of the five, uh, fifth year the number of uh, insured alive is uh, basically uh, from this figure minus from this figure because these are the um, total number of insured at the beginning of the fifth year and um, total number of dead person at the ending of the uh, fifth year so basically if we subtract these uh, uh, items that time we will get uh, number of alive person um, after the certain time period like five years so uh, we are uh, minusing this amount and uh, along with that we are multiplying the value of pbif and the policy value okay for last year pbif value and the policy value thereafter we getting the total pb of living claim and as we are um, doing the math of endowment we need total claim amount so that's why we are adding up the um, death claim and living claim we are getting the total claim so now we are going to calculate nsp nsp basically is a math, um, um, Dividation between the two values first initially total claim as we have calculated this fair value from there and later on the lower part contains number of insured at the beginning of the year it is given number one year the total number of insured is here 30,550 so if we just speak of the um, values from our calculation we can get that uh, for NSP uh, for a net uh, 
uh, for a single payment uh, as a insured have to as a insured you have to pay 4,631 taka. But if you go for the NAP option, that means you have to pay the installment uh, annually for next five years. That time, what will be the amount? Let's check. So for NAP calculation, we need a column of five. So basically five, six and six column uh, we need. So one will come from the question portion will carry the uh, given value of three column and number four column will be the just uh, who uh, just copy of um, number three number column basically here we are uh, into uh, we are multiplying number three column with one basically we can replace the value of three in column into the number four column for the fifth number column first first year value will be always one okay Fifth year value of um, uh, fifth, fifth column of one year value, first year value will be always one, and thereafter we'll set the values from the portion. Uh, but the portion is holding nine nine point one in the first year, but we will set it in the second year. Basically, uh, the fifth year value uh, given in the portion will be no longer active in this table. So near we um, we will calculate the six number column. Six number column will get from calculating. Column four and column five. Entering the column four and column five, we'll get the result of column six. And uh, sum up the column six, we'll get one one four nine eight five. For NAP calculation, if we sub uh, dividing the values, total claim from last table and uh, total PV of premium receipt from this table, we are getting that uh, it is one two three zero. That means if you are taking the NAP option, you have to pay uh, twelve hundred thirty taka each year. So that was the uh, endowment calculation for NSP and NAP. Whenever we are talking about the term life insurance, that the difference point between is the uh, life uh, living claim okay in terms of life insurance company when they are following the term life insurance there will be no living claim so let's check this is the math for um, term life insurance basically same as exact like previous math just uh, here it is for term life insurance and previous methods for endowment so we are going to calculate nsp and nap for nsp we know that we need uh, seven column and for for the seven, seven column six column is getting for the portion and six column is getting for uh, um number four column is equal to uh, number four into multiply it to um, column five and multiplying again with um, six so four into five into six column comes to the seven number column seven number column will add it up total pv of death claim here we are calculate term life insurance so we do not need the uh, um, total pv of living claim so now if if we are calculating the nsp nsp comes with the formula that total pv of death claim divided by number of insured at the beginning of the year so if we uh, just uh, put on the values inside the uh, formula part we will get that the result will be 588 if you are insured and you are going to pay in terms of nsp you will make one single payment 588 but if you are insured and you are willing to take nap so so there will be no difference from endowment. It will be contained like six column table and first three column will be comes from portion and four number column will be exactly copy of number three column. Fifth number column will contain uh, first year one and uh, following up the quotient, uh, quotienting value, given quotient from the values. And six number will contain uh, by uh, Four number column multiplying with fifth number column and result will be appeared like you if you have to do the calculation for nap you have to uh, sum up the whole value of total pv of premium uh, receipt and thereafter for nap you just have to put on the values nap is a total pv of death claim as we have calculated here from five uh, four to um from the previous page uh, the value and uh, total pv of premium receipt here is a value so the calculation will be term as so 15133 so as you are paying in the nap you will pay only 133 each year five year for five year basically this is all for the today's class thank you very much